What's going on guys, it's Precision bringing you another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Iron Crown event and its latest update. So let's get into it. The Apex Legends devs have released their highly anticipated Iron Crown event on August 13th, which brought along with its various balance changes to the guns and legends in the game. The Iron Crown event launched on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, giving players entirely new ways of competing in King's Canyon namely with the addition of a solo mode. But before they drop into the Apex games, players might want to look at the balances Respawn Entertainment made to a fan favorite weapons like the Alternator, RE45, and more. Alternator getting nerfed for Iron Crown. Players might be wondering why the Alternator isn't destroying shields like it used to, even with the Disruptor Round hop-up. Disruptor Rounds on the Alternator are shredding shields a bit too quickly and still proven to be stronger than intended, the dev said in the latest patch so we're reducing the disrupted rounds multiplier on shield damage. The devs have reduced the shielded damage multiplier for the disruptor from 1.7 down a bit to 1.55. Devs toning down the R301 at range. The R301 might have been too reliable at long range as the devs are making it a bit harder to land shots outside of mid-range scenarios. We have made these changes as we have seen that the R301 is a bit stronger than intended at long range, the respawn devs noted. We've adjusted recoil to balance, keeping it effective at medium to close range. Respawn wanted the rifle to be more aligned with its original intent, as they're making it harder to auto-fire and still laser enemies at long distances. The technological tracker got an upgrade. Bloodhound players are already loving the Iron Crown event as it gave the legend a new heirloom weapon, along with key upgrades to track foes much more effectively. They will now be able to see traversal clues left by other players at a greater distance since the dev increased the range of Bloodhound's passive ability to 25 meters. Similarly, the devs adjusted the area of effect for Eye of the Allfather to an eye opening 110 FOV. There's a lot more to unpack with the various tweaks to weapons and characters, so make sure to read down the description. I'll put the patch notes and hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you guys next time.